penetration. Oh, whoopsie. I did help. Her puss are mediocre. <laughs> NFL football game. Hey! Thank you, Jeremy. <laughs> Ooh. Ah. Nice Ooh. head rolling yeah. there. It's Ooh. very fluid. Oh, I'm getting dizzy. Yeah. Can't be doing I'm that. I'm, too, I'm too old for that shit. Mm. Dude, my kids want they want me to ride all them fucking roller coasters, or not roller coasters, but like the round round rides with carnivals and shit. Roundy round rides? Dude, the ones I used to go on back and like back and over and over and over and over. Fuck, I can't do them anymore. Hell no. Did I do it one time and I'm like, yeah, that was fun. <laughs> oh, shit. This is awful. I feel it. I feel it coming. <laughs> yeah. What is up, everybody? Welcome to K Love You Bye. Welcome, welcome. What are you drinking? Uh, Jeremy, what am I drinking? This is a pre made, um, old fashioned. Oh, oh. I like I like old fashions. I really do. do. I do. And the the best part about old fashions is they are old. They are old. They are old. They go way back. Yeah, to the beginning of time. Okay, so do you know who like a region of the United States that really makes the best old fashions? Who? Where? Wisconsin, hands down. Really? Hands down, Wisconsin. Wisconsin. Scanson, Scanson, them motherfuckers up there have it figured out. Yeah, there's another one they do too. It's uh, old fashions and uh, cheese. No, there's a, there's another cock Manhattan's. Another cock. They they do Manhattan's really well too. They're I don't drink that shit. So guess what today is? I was just gonna ask you what is today for those of you watching, for those of you listening. Me and Brandon, and now Jeremy, want to give you guys a big fucking thank you because this is our one year anniversary episode. Give it up for one year, everybody! One year, one year. Holy fucking shit! How the time has just right flown by. This has been so much fun. Yeah, it has. And you know, one of my favorite parts of this year has been all the YouTube haters. Yeah, that's, you, there's, yeah, you there's know? quite a few. When you leave nasty comments on our YouTube, I fucking love it. I read them and I giggle. I know. I think they're really funny because at the end of the day, you still watched our video. <laughs> it's been great, man. This year has flown by, I think. Yeah. You know? And to think where... Now we're almost into September already. It's ridiculous. Right? Where, uh, you know, we think back to like our first episode, which hopefully if this is the first episode you guys are ever watching, don't go watch the first or second episodes. Or no. Yeah, you could probably you could probably skip a few of those. <laughs> you could skip a few of the first ones. Because <laughs> they're just a little shitty. You know, did you know what you were doing? I had no fun. Yeah, no, I didn't fucking know shit either. We were just... We we're fucking we were just it. spitballing, yeah, dude. I think we were just talking about it earlier. We started with just a laptop mm -hmm. and a cell phone. Laptop, cell phone. We had mics, and we had a janky ass like cell phone holder that we like duct taped to a yeah, we like did. a candlestick. Yeah, a candlestick. <laughs> it wasn't quite that janky, but it was it was pretty janky. <laughs> we're like, hey, let's start a podcast. We got her nailed, buddy. <laughs> oh man, YouTube. All you need is a. Phone, a laptop, and a candlestick. And a candlestick. <laughs> you got yourself go. a fucking podcast, man. <laughs> yeah. Oh, uh, that's it's been crazy. great. Yeah, we've now come, it's, it's we've come a long way. Come a long way. Uh also, speaking of coming a long way. Uh yes, I did shoot it. It was like three yards. Look at where we are now. Oh. I mean, we have a legitimate studio. We have legitimate equipment. Look at this setup. And look at this. Everyone, setup. take Third a look. Already. Look yeah. at Jeremy right what now, everybody. <laughs> this oh. is our new producer. We're going to have an episode here shortly um, so you guys can get to know Jeremy a little bit better. Yeah. But Jeremy, go ahead and wave and say hi to everybody. What's up, everybody? Jeremy Happy is be here. He's running, the, uh, he's running the show for us now. Yes, he is. You're going to hear a lot from him. He's going to chime in to keep us fucking... On task. 
I was going to say keep us from uh, being too gay. <laughs> Nobody can keep you from being too gay. <laughs> you like the gay. I don't think I'm going to slow that down. I'm okay with it. Okay? I'm, I'm fine with it. Your, look <laughs> look it up. Those are, your, your gay numbers are rookie numbers. <laughs> All right. Fine. Watch this. <laughs> oh, yeah. Oh, oh. <laughs> See, I, that's a big mic. Oh. <laughs> you ever deep throat a mic? Mm -mm. Steve or maybe a John every now and again. <laughs> Mike, holy slow. What did we, uh, what was the name of the, the prison dude? Uh, Bruce. 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 <laughs> it, I deep throated Bruce, but it wasn't by choice. Bruce, it, was, it was not by choice. He, he I deep throated. I told him I'd give him a little, and he he went all the way in. He deep throated mouth and anally. And I was going to try to pull back, but man, he is strong, and he grabbed the back of my head. And <laughs> oh, man. Anyway, <laughs> here we go. Moving on. Here we go. Welcome to K Love You Bye. Yeah. All right. So tonight's episode. Guess what is starting? Well, when this comes out, guess what is starting in a couple of days? Football. Football is back. I was doing the back out background drums for you. Yeah, that was like a remix. I don't like you're, it. Yeah, you're okay. Fine. Fuck you. I don't like your remix. All right. So I know we talked about it a little bit. Uh, last year when we were making these episodes, but we're going to cover it again here. Yeah. Because it's football season, and it's I'm already football. two fantasy drafts in, one to go. I am terrible at fantasy. I'm not good at fantasy football. Have you ever won? Uh, no, I've never won. Oh. But. So, yeah, you are terrible. One of my drafts, I was projected to end up right in the middle of the pack, and the other one, I'm projected to finish third. Whoa, this is so, that forward for you. Oh. So, I've got one more draft, and I'm hoping I fucking nail it. Mm -hmm. We'll see. Nice. Yeah, I'm not in no, I wasn't in any last year either. That last year, or this year, because the one I'm usually in, it's like kind of teetered off. I don't know. Everybody disappeared. I don't know the fuck. Yeah. So, yep. No fantasy football, I guess. Again. Yeah. Well, maybe next year we should. Uh, we'll start like a Caleb you buy league. Yeah. Well, I was trying to get a, a Richards one in your. Well, I don't know I'm, if I can manage three leagues. That's a lot of responsibility. It is. <laughs> Managing three. I mean, you're bound to fuck one, one of them up every week. Well, yeah. You get them all confused in your, in your head, and then you're like, yeah, all my teams are set. And it's, then you look, and you're like, fuck. It's a lot easier if you have hmm. them all in the same uh, program, like ESPN yeah, or ESPN see, or whatever. See, like our fam my family league, that's in Yahoo. Mm, well, I and then Yahoo's and one. then my other two are ESPN. Yeah. So I like ESPNs. Yeah. Or I ESPN I played in the ESPN one last year for the first time or two years ago. And when I got in that one, I was like, wow, I like this a little better. I like the way it's set up, but what? You kind of take what you're dealt. Yeah. <clears throat> okay, so started off. We're gonna go around the table. Favorite team and why? Brandon, you start. Denver Broncos. <laughs> <laughs> Says a guy wearing a bear shirt. Hey, it's not my turn yet. Everybody has seen you. <laughs> uh, yeah, I was born in Denver, and my parent, my dad, was a Broncos fan. So even though he was born, he was born in Iowa, raised a Vikings fan, but he became a Broncos fan, lived there for forever, and and uh, yeah, I was born there. Born into Broncos and just been Broncos same whole life. So you were just kind of raised up to be a Bronco? Pretty much, yeah. So you were a fan during the Peyton Manning years? Yeah, I was a fan during the Peyton Manning years, the Brian Greasy years, the Elway years, the all the years in between. Yeah. And then Paxton the last, Lynch? Oh, <laughs> I don't even, even say he, was, was he it? played like two games maybe. Yeah. You know? Wasn't there a Rex Grossman year in there? No, it was uh or not Grossman, it was uh Jay Cutler. Jay Cutler. Jay Cut Yeah. Who, I like Jay. Oh Cutler. no, uh, I'm thinking Kyle Orton. Kyle Orton. Kyle Orton was there Kyle, for I fucking hated Kyle Orton. Jake mm. Plummer. Jake Plummer was probably one of my favorites. Yeah. But Kyle Orton was probably one of my least favorites. Which is so weird because I liked Kyle Orton as a quarterback for the Bears. Yeah, I liked Jay Cutler as a quarterback for the Broncos. I fucking hated Jay Cutler, if you ever see this, 
please get a hold of me because I want to fight you. Why? Boxing gloves. You know, on you. It was a lot of that shit. Every time I'd watch a fucking Bears game, which I don't even know why I was watching a fucking Bears game, but every time I would, they uh, as soon as he would snap the ball, the fucking defensive line is like through the linemen. Okay, like the so linemen were like butter. I will say, during the years that, uh, during the years that he played for Chicago, mm -hmm. I was kind of at that age where. I didn't really pay a lot of attention to, like, the details of the game. It was a lot of more just, like, how they're like how they're playing. Yeah. So I'd watch the game, but I wouldn't really pay attention to, like, oh, the offensive line, let <laughs> Cutler get sacked again. So in his defense, there probably was a shit ton of that going on because there was a lot of it. I see it now with Justin Fields, or last year I did. Yeah. And the potential that fucking dude has. Look at what he did last year all by himself. So... I guess, you know. Speaking of, I guess, that <clears throat> class real quick. Did you see Trey Lance went to the Cowboys? No. Yeah, they, they traded him to the Cowboys. Really? Mm-hmm. Holy shit. Yeah. So, looks like it's uh, old uh, what's-his-nuts in fucking San Francisco for for pretty much solidified. Uh, Brock, Brock Purdy. Purdy. Brock Purdy. Yeah. Iowa State boy. Yeah. yeah. Wait a second. Are you Iowa State fan? No. Okay. Definitely not. But you're Hawks. Okay, uh, good. Okay. Yeah. Just making sure. Okay. We but were, you're just because he's in the NFL and he's Iowa. And yeah, stuff. I mean, yeah, I'll yeah. I'll root for him. Yeah, for we sure. were gonna have to we were gonna have to fucking <laughs> kick you out of here. <laughs> that was one question. We should probably review our application we process. Need to, we need to do a little more screening. <laughs> I mean, yeah. the application process was very strenuous. Yeah. I mean, yeah. You should have caught it in my background check and <laughs> yeah. my urine sample, all well, of that. I mean this is this is how it went. Hey, do you want to be our producer? Yeah, sure. <laughs> That's it. <laughs> That's how the application process started. That's how it started. And that's essentially how it finished. Yeah, you know, I got some boys over there in the uh, the CIA, and they, they do all the background checks for us. Yeah. Anyway, so you're uh, obviously Bears. Why? The Why? Bears. Gross. Um, so, yeah, so Why? When well, when I was younger, for some reason I was a fucking Packers fan, and I don't know why, but that was like the era of like Brett Favre and well, it was Brett well, Favre and it was um like Donald Driver, yep, and uh, some of them guys. So I collected like playing cards, like football cards, when I was a little kid, and I happened to just have like a, a huge collection of like the Green Bay Packers. And they became my team. And I was like, yeah. So my mom and dad never were really that big into football. But my mom has always been like a Vikings fan. Yeah. And when I was like real little, I was like, oh, Randy Moss. Like, so I'd like watch the Vikings with her. And I like, I thought Randy Moss was cool because I was a little kid. And then I started getting older and I was like, I had some Bears fans in my, in my extended family. And I'm like, I watched a few games. And I was like, God. I like the Bears. Yeah. And then I just started. That was it. I was a fucking Bears fan. Hmm. Yeah. And just decided to stick with it, huh? Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> well, the, good on you. Through the bad times. <laughs> and hopefully this year, the good. <laughs> <laughs> through, through the bad times and, you know, more bad times. You know, being a Bears fan, I must say, it is very, it's very hard to be a Bears fan. Uh, about as hard. I would say it's it's harder than being a Vikings fan. Yeah, you know, I know that I know Vikings fans get disappointed heavily. Mm -hmm. Come playoffs, yeah, a they, lot they, <laughs> they get they get things like but, the uh, the Minnesota uh, Miracle, and then and then all of a sudden they get things like uh, oh let's hit this goalpost and that goalpost at the same time, and then oh we're done. Dude, I, <laughs> <laughs> that was the Bears. The that, double no, doink. The double doink. Well, was you Vikings, us. the guy did it too, didn't yeah. he? So well, Blair Walsh just Blair Walsh oh, he just, just missed, missed it completely. completely. Wide right. left. He yeah. was wide left. Yeah. Then I threw my hat at the TV that day and it was wide left too. So <laughs> <laughs> it was meant to be. So it was a few years ago, you know, the the Bears were kind of on a run there and playing pretty well. And we got into the playoffs and I was like, we beat the Eagles. Fucking we got it. 
And it got down to the fucking wire. And that's when we got the double doink. And I must say, I looked up. I was mad for 30 seconds. I go, well, yep, that's uh, that's called being a Bears fan. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. And, and I was I was kind of over it, but I was pretty mad right away. Well, my, so, since uh, Peyton Manning left, Broncos have been just absolute dog shit. You know, Their best quarterback in those years was Trevor Simeon. I'm, <laughs> Where's that guy? <laughs> I'm excited to see. Well, one, I'm I'm curious to see what Denver's going to do now with Peyton, with new leadership. Yeah, I'm excited. Uh, but I'm also excited to see what Chicago's going to do this year because they kind of started a massive restructure and they are building the team around Justin Fields. So Which they should. As a Chicago Bears fan, seeing the potential of our quarterback just playing by himself. Mm -hmm. I can't wait to see what can happen when he has time to stand in the pocket and actually, you know, because last year everyone was like, oh, Mooney is fucking garbage. She's a terrible receiver. And were there some drop balls? Yeah. Were they rush passes? Yeah. There were, there was a couple of balls that probably should have been caught, but I think some of it was just no, like timing was, ter was terrible. Yeah. They would practice. But then during the real game, like everything was so fucking rushed. I don't think they had their timing and click. But then now we have DJ Moore as a receiver too. And everyone's like, well, he's not going to be good because Fields isn't a thrower or whatever. I'm like, uh, I would. All we have to do is give Justin Fields three seconds in the pocket on two out of the four downs mm -hmm. and give Mooney and Moore enough time to just create a little separation and let him throw the ball. And I guarantee you the guy's going to be a great passing quarterback too. Yeah, That's just where, you know. And I'm still mad about that because the Broncos could have and should have gotten uh, Justin Fields. Yeah. And instead they, Russell well, Wilson. Well. Which, you, well, I guess we'll see how it pans out this year because the, the coaching and everything last year was just the fucking worst. Dude, there was a lot of people that were like, oh, Russell Wilson, you can you know, you're gonna be pretty good. Yep. Dud. Dud. Yeah. <laughs> but I mean, there's a lot. There's a lot that wasn't his fault, but there's also a lot that was his fault. Well, so. you know, one we'll of, see. This is the year that makes or breaks him. So you know, one of the owners of the the Denver Broncos is a probably the best Formula One driver that's ever mm -hmm. been, Lewis Hamilton, and he knows nothing about football. So well, they. Not, I mean, the only. The, <laughs> What's the sad thing is the per, the one person who does know anything about football in that whole ownership group is Condoleezza Rice. Really? Yeah. Well, because she does like the college year. I don't know. If she, she probably doesn't do it anymore. But she did the college. Uh, I uh, didn't even know she was owner. Yeah, it's the, there's like forty owners of the Denver Broncos. So I guess no, it's, there's like five of them. It's a uh, it's the Walmart Waltons, the Waltons. Walton family. Yeah, and then Condoleezza Rice, which is weird. Lewis Hamilton. They would own something and share it. The, with how much money they have, it's well, weird that they don't just own it outright. You know? You think, yeah, but they probably want, I don't know. I don't know why they would do that. Yeah, it doesn't really make any sense. Yeah. But I don't mm. know. Anyway, Jeremy. <laughs> yeah, so, try to so. switch to both of us at the same time. <laughs> I, I couldn't do it. Both my fingers are going crazy. <laughs> You're going to be get fucking arthritis and carpal tunnel and shit over there. Who is your favorite team and why? Mine is the Minnesota Vikings. Do we have a boo button over there? Um, yeah, there it is. That's it. Yeah, it's nice being on this side of it. It sucks, it sucks that we can't push buttons anymore. I know. Don't worry, I can add things in when I edit. <laughs> yeah. No, I became a Vikings fan. Shit. Real young. I remember Dante Culpepper and Randy Moss. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Every time Dante threw a threw a touchdown pass, he'd do the little travel signal <laughs> with his arms. Yeah. Loved that. Fell in love with that. Dude, <laughs> Obviously. I remember playing NFL Blitz, like the video game Blitz. Yeah. Mm -hmm. And I would always be the Vikings because Dante Culpepper always had like that super cool like front flip like smash move yeah. that he did. <laughs> <laughs> okay. So continue. No, my cousins. So I had two older cousins, 
and they wanted me to become a Cowboys fan, and the one was a Dolphins fan. Gross. And my, Double gross. Couldn't couldn't do either of those. You were definitely and smarter they than you look. Yeah. I mean, pretty fucking smart. <laughs> 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 but then uh, AP came along. I mean, mm. that was that was late high school, but it just solidified. Solidified. I mean, greatest of all time. Well, running back. Yeah. Running back. He and was I, a, I I think so. He I'm was a, an I'm absolute he was an absolute animal. Like in his in his prime. That dude was an animal. What year was it that he won the, the MVP? Twenty twelve? Oh, something like somewhere that. Somewhere around there. Yeah. Right. It was after his ACL. Yeah. yeah. The year after his ACL, just yeah. animal. Yep. Yeah, I don't know. I'm 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 partial to Terrell Davis. Mm. But also there's I mean can't forget Barry Sanders. Hey, what about? Hey, yeah, I mean, he was. Can you imagine? Right. He was, <laughs> Come on. Right. He, he, is, he fucking did <laughs> fucking fire shit for the fucking Lions. <laughs> imagine if he played for an actual NFL team. Right. <laughs> what? Nothing. I was just, I was going to add some info in there, but all the great running backs from the Bears are from like before the 80s. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, like fucking uh, Gale Sayers. Gale Sayers. And, uh, yeah. uh, Walter, Walter Payton. Walter Payton, yeah. Mm -hmm. Oh yeah, Walter Payton's. Yeah. What was what was his nickname? Walter Payton. Sweetness? Um, I don't know. I don't remember. I think it was Sweetness. That's a pretty Maybe. cool nickname. Yeah. Well, I mean, those guys those guys played in a different era of football too. I mean Yeah, right now running backs can't get signed. I mean, right. it took forever for Zeke to get signed. Yeah, who do you get I signed mean, by? Uh he's with the Patriots. You know, no, he signed a one-year deal. He signed a one-year deal with the Patriots. You know, okay, so Patriots, I hate him. I was, I was thinking that okay, maybe Zeke would be a sleeper to have on your bench, right? And I, there's probably a lot of people that have picked him up for fantasy. But I got to thinking about like the last few years of Zeke when he was playing at Dallas, right? If you watched and paid attention to how Dallas was playing the football game, Pollard ran the football the entire length of the field, got him on the goal line, and then they gave the ball to Zeke. And then he'd run it in for a touchdown. Yeah, but look at fucking the Patriots fucking history with running backs. Well, I, that's, what right. I'm, that's what I'm saying, though. Like, Zeke didn't, he didn't do, he didn't get a lot of breakaway. He didn't get a lot of yards. Yeah. He, he just, they put him in only to punch it in. Yeah. And Pollard, the only time he ever scored was when he broke through the the line and ran it in. Yeah, you know he was literally the workhorse of the of the Cowboys running backfield. Well, I think it's going to be very similar <clears throat> this year because um, they drafted the Patriots drafted a guy last year that was pretty solid. I don't I don't remember his name, but he was pretty solid last year, and I feel like that's going to be the same scheme because if you look at it, Patriots over the years have always had like running back by committee. Mm -hmm. That's just yeah. that's what they do. So I feel like Zeke's going to be goal line and get to like five yards and in. Yeah. And they even, also don't have the same offensive coordinators, though, because fucking he's in the Raiders now or whatever. Dude, right. even he's a piece of shit, too. I hate like, him. <laughs> even even when the Cowboys did that, they'd run Pollard down and then give it to Zeke. Even when they did that, it was still only like 50 percent like he'd get in the end zone. Mm -hmm. So I don't I don't know. You know what we should do though next year? What we should start doing like like fantasy football tips in like June, June, July, like every other episode, do like a fantasy football tips episode, and just give people like straight trash information. <laughs> we should do that with gambling, not fantasy football. Just like bet the house on Patriots minus forty five. <laughs> bet the house. <laughs> Uh, we got oh, some inside yeah. information that the Vikings kicker is uh, knocking down a record this year. Go ahead, <laughs> bet a hundred on it. Three yarder. <laughs> he's <laughs> he's gonna break the record this year. He's kicking eighty yarders in practice. What is the record now? Is it 60, <clears throat> maybe 60, 63. It was sixty three yeah. for a while, and then somebody broke it. I think it was like I want to say sixty five. Mm, I thought it was more than that. Justin Tucker might have just broke it because last year. Yeah, the guy that used to have it. Didn't he have like a fucking like a club foot? No. Like the original record was set by a guy that had like a club foot. The original record I think was like sixty one, and I remember Jason Elam broke it with the Broncos for like sixty three, or maybe his was sixty one. 
I don't remember. Anyway, yeah, Justin Tucker, 2020, well, 2021 now, well, a couple years ago, uh, 66 yards. He broke I remember it watching tied. that too. No, he broke it. Nobody, broke it. nobody else takes 66. Yeah. Well, there's a 70 yarder coming soon. I bet you though, like a lot of a lot of those guys can kick a 70 yarder in practice all day long. Oh, they do. But yeah. it's what coach is is gonna be ballsy enough to take the chance. You know what I mean? Mm -hmm. Well, it's, I think too, it's a lot of it in practice. You got, you got more time. You don't have anybody coming at you. No, I mean, and yeah. then you go into the game, you need that like two, three step, whatever they take yeah, and yeah. get it off. And then you don't have any arms up in your, you know, up over the center trying to block it too. So mm -hmm. because those 70 yarders are low, I mean, oh, you got to kick them low as shit. And, mm -hmm. drive. They, and yeah. the best, the mm -hmm. best way to do it, honestly, would be, you have to, you'd want to play at mile high because you got that thin oh, air yeah. and shit and like you get a little bit more of an advantage as long as there's like the wind isn't fucking ridiculous or whatever but well we were talking about it at our draft the other night about like drafting kickers because we uh the guy that runs the league I, the second league I drafted in he told one of the guys that's not really big into football uh that at the bar after we were done drafting, he would buy him a couple beers if he drafted a kicker in the first round. And the guy was like, <laughs> the guy was second pick of the first round, <laughs> second pick of the draft. And he fucking did Dude, it. <laughs> Dude I hope that fucker comes back and just wins it all. Dude, he's like, his kicker. Just, yeah. I, I hope he wins because that's get, fucked up. His kicker gets him like 40 points Dude, a game. Here's, <laughs> and here's the thing is I play that kid. I play the kid fucking first, first round. Do you? Yeah. First first game I play him. And I, I hope to God you lose so bad. Oh, and uh so the same so the kid that I'm talking about is the same kid that I talked about on our last episode that got catfished. Is it really? Yeah. And when I got to the when I got to the draft, I walked up to him and I shook his hand and I whispered in his ear, Thanks for the eight hundred bucks. Nice cock. No, you did. He started laughing. He started laughing. <laughs> oh, that's fucked up. <laughs> the thing is, I could see it actually being you. I could, like, I could actually see it. Yeah, I could too. Uh, how do you think we how do you think we got the new ATM? <laughs> <laughs> Thanks, anonymous guy. <sighs> yeah. Um so what kind of predictions you got for your team this year? What's what's? Oh, speaking. Hold on before okay. before I forget. Again, okay. Uh, if anybody was there back when we had the bet prior to last year, I don't remember. Uh huh. Well, I'm not I'm sure what he's talking about. Somebody can back me up on this, or I, I think, can go back I and think find it. I recall it. Do you recall it? I it was like the, who had the it better like record? A better record. Yep. Hundred bucks. Mm, yeah, money towards the the podcast. The podcast. Yeah, and who had the better record? I do believe it was barely, but it was the Broncos. Mm, so know. we'll have to we'll have to pull it up and make sure that that's accurate. Yeah, well, it's one hundred percent accurate, but uh, yeah, we'll we will prove it to you. We'll have to we'll have to dig into it and yeah, we'll peel back the proverbial onion on it a little bit and proverbial onion. We'll see what we can come up with. Okay. Anyway, so what's your uh, <laughs> what's your prediction on this year? Okay. Um, Man, I would like to watch the first game before making the <laughs> yeah, <division. laughs> Everybody would. <laughs> uh, I'm gonna go with. I'm gonna go with. Uh, how many games are there now with the 17. playoffs? Seventeen. No, without the playoffs, there's seventeen regular season games. Yeah, with the playoffs, though. You don't no, not playoffs. We're doing regular season record. Oh, we're not gonna. We're not well, gonna do. It was just regular season record. For regular season? Yeah. Okay. Regular season? Tag on regular season. Okay, pooters. So I'm going to go, what is it? Like 17 games. I'm going to go th 13 and four. 13 and four. <laughs> <laughs> I'll take that any day. <laughs> I, will, I will go the. The reverse order there, the in, inverse, whatever you want to call it, four and thirteen for the Bears. Now, now, yeah, okay. Out, no, they're gonna win more than four, but yeah, thirteen and four, that ain't happening. I think I predict thirteen and four, <laughs> and then still gonna makes me laugh. 
I think we get to the third round of the playoffs. Wow. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> you were just fucking out there, huh? I can't wait for him to What's do in it. That drink? I'm going to look. <laughs> yeah. uh, it's old fashioned. Yeah, I but can't wait. In it. Can't wait for him to do it. And then I'm going to look at you and be like, told you. Okay. Knew it. What's go ahead and mark this down for fucking future reference. Future reference. We need to highlight this video so we can go back to it. Yeah, kind of like the one that <clears throat> we bet on last yeah, year. Yeah, okay. Okay, fine. Okay. Uh, anyway. Keep bringing it up. Uh, what is your prediction for the, the Vikings? Can I make a prediction for the Vikings? So. After. <laughs> I'm going kind of modest. Just even after the year they had last year, I don't think they made enough moves in the offseason for. Like, I think they got a great defensive coordinator in Brian Flores. But I don't think they, they helped with the defense at all. So I'm going. 10 wins. 10 wins. But I feel like that wins the division. Mm, I could see that. That yeah. doesn't beat 13. Did it? <laughs> yeah, it doesn't in fantasy land, but in real life, it's definitely beating fucking the Bears' actual record. <laughs> 7 and 10, I'd give them. <laughs> uh, Brian Flores, he... Which one is Brian Flores? So he was the one. He was the head coach at Miami, Miami. for a while. Yeah, and he they That's got into a big name. like <clears throat> racist, not hiring, right. not interviewing enough like black head coaches and stuff like that. I don't, I don't know exactly the details, but oh, okay. And then he was just at the the Steelers. He was a D coordinator for the Steelers last year. I gotta look him up because I can't. So who's their coach? Who's the who's the he was there before Flores, they got he's the one that actually had this lawsuit out against yeah, a bunch yeah. of teams and stuff. He was there before they took Tyreek Hill, right? Before they acquired yeah, yeah. yeah. It was like he's the season there. before, right? Yeah, so last year he was with he was with the Steelers, and then he might have been somewhere else before. Maybe he spent two years with the Steelers, I'm not sure. Yeah, because yeah. Because I Mike Mike McDaniel's has been there for a couple years. This is the second year now. I think they took Last Tyreek. Year was his first year, I think. Oh, really? They, they got he, Tyreek when they fucking uh, was named the eleventh coach of the season. Twenty twenty two. Yeah. So last year was his first. Which I was gonna say. So this is why I don't think that whole lawsuit shit that he's got has any like at least against the Dolphins because this dude Mike McDaniel like he he did real. I thought he did pretty fucking good with the yeah. fucking Dolphins. Yeah, he really did. Yeah. But except you know. for except for the time he got caught vaping on the sideline, I saw that. Yeah, that's what I was that was, <laughs> and then he's been funny. he's been interviewed for it before or after it, and he's just like, I don't know what you're talking about. Like I don't I don't do that shit. Oh uh, <laughs> uh, yeah, you do, dude. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Oh, My, so your what was your record? You say 10, 10 wins? Yeah, ten, 10 wins. Seven. Ten wins. Ten and seven. Okay. Uh, modest, I feel. Yeah. But wins the division. Okay. So, making the playoffs then. That would be, yeah, yep, winning would, the division yep. would yep. take you to the playoffs. Yep. <laughs> yep. True. Well, I'm just saying because 10 and 7. I know you wouldn't know that they because the not, Bears haven't won the division. And they might. It was like four, 2001. Year, four years ago. No, it was not. The year we went to we the double doink, we won the fucking division. What year was that? That was longer than It was like that. 19 or 18. Well. Fuck it, worth a Google. And while will, you're Googling it, I'm going to give my prediction for the Vikings. I'll roll with your 10 and 7. You don't win the division. Okay. Uh, and that's it. <laughs> <laughs> uh, so, yeah, it was 2018. Yeah. The record, I guess, okay. Why do I not remember that year? Very well? Fucking Packers were sick. Oh, was that the year that uh, Rodgers was injured the whole year? No. Are you sure? Because they were 6 and 9. No, that was the year. Two of those six wins were against the Bears, and we still went to the fucking one division. Uh, that was the year that Rodgers got hurt during the Bears game, the second Bears game. Yeah. He got hurt during the second one, I think, and then they took him off the field, and they, like, analyzed him in the medical room and back. They analyzed him? And we were like, yeah, Rodgers, done, and we started rolling on the fucking <laughs> Packers, right? And then here he comes fucking out. He comes running out of the fucking tunnel. Back onto the field, and they came from like three touchdowns down to beat us. Mm -hmm. And I was like, <laughs> "That's why he's your he, he's your guys' daddy." And I specifically remember that because Jaden was so fucking mad during that game. Yeah, he got he was so shit, yeah. fucking mad. 
And I the whole time I was like, I really want to rub this in, but I don't know how far to push it before she fucking <laughs> blows a gasket. I will say this. I don't I don't think I think the Packers are gonna be at the bottom of the barrel right there with the fucking the Lions. I actually think I think the Lions might have a better record. The Lions honestly aren't that bad of a team. They just play a lot of a lot of close games with a lot of good teams. You you know what? I I do think that you're right. Packers and the and the Lions are gonna be probably the bottom two. Mm-hmm. But I think the Packers are gonna surprise everybody. I don't. I have a feeling that they're gonna come out and they're gonna surprise everybody a little bit about how you know how well they do versus what everyone thinks they're gonna do. I think they're gonna be. I think trash. they're gonna play together a little bit better than everyone thinks. I, they, I mean, I'm not a fan of that Jordan Love. I think he's garbage. You gotta give anyone who played under Aaron Rodgers or practiced under Aaron Rodgers a little credit because the the dude is a fucking football genius. Mm. When you think about him and Tom Brady and Brett Favre and some of the greatest quarterbacks I ever played, those guys know football so fucking well. And I guarantee you the amount of information that he gave Jordan Love before he left was just a little drip in the hat. But the shit that he told him is going to be like game-changing fucking advice. And we'll see. So I think I think Jordan Love will have a little bit better turnout than everyone expects. But then again, who knows? I don't know. I still think the Bears are going to win the division, though. So, fuck well, you. you heard it here first. Jeremy. We'll see. <laughs> fuck you. Your 10 and 7 ain't going to fucking beat. I think it's I think I he's think, four. pretty accurate. There, I, think, I think I think it's going to be a battle between the Lions and the Vikings. I Dude, the Lions, that. the Lions at the end of year at the end of the year last year were hot. I mean, mm-hmm. yeah, they but they were they were the team to beat. Yeah. I mean, in the I, NFC North for sure. I will say this. I did have Hawkinson on my fantasy team. And I will say that dude was fucking clutch. And they threw to Hawkinson a lot. Mm -hmm. And he scored a lot of touchdowns and he scored a lot of yards. And he was a playmaker for Detroit. And when they gave him over to fucking Minnesota, that hurt him. That that hurt Detroit. Oh, it hurt Detroit for sure. Oh, yeah. I mean, a lot. Right now, I'm scared because he's in a little bit of a contract dispute with the Vikings. I think it's all going to work out, but well, no, that guy's a, the okay, dude. That the guy's dude, a stud. The yeah. dude knows his worth. And let me say this: he's from Iowa. He's from Iowa. He's Mike. an Iowa boy. The U of I is hands down the best school to go to f- to play football if you're a tight end. They put. Did you, well, hold on. Did you say U and I? U of I. Okay. Iowa. They yeah. are the best school to go to. If you're a tight end and you want to make it to the fucking NFL, go to the University of Iowa. They're, yeah, they're definitely, yeah. I mean, the shit, that, that draft they put out. Kittle? Two, Kittle? Well, yeah, but they also put out him. Hawkinson? And, and Noah Fant in the same fucking draft. Broncos took Noah Fant. No. And they didn't use him correctly. I will say that, too. You have put- two first-round tight ends go in the same draft. Yeah. That's... That's ridiculous. From yeah, yeah, from from the, the same, same school. school? Yeah. Yeah. That's unheard of. They are literally the school of tight ends. Mm-hmm. Yeah, like that is where, that is where they look for tight ends. The NFL. So you and the ice, man. What's your prediction <laughs> for the Broncos? Broncos. Uh, I can still hear you. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> I like two nights. Uh, I'm I'm also going to be a little conservative with mine because even though I love Sean Payton and I love a lot of the weapons they have and shit, I still don't know about Russ and shit. Uh, I'm going to go I'm going to go uh and our division sucks. Our division's so hard. I'm going to go 9 9 and 8. I'm going to be a little cons- I'm going to be conservative. See, I'm a little higher on him. I think right. Russ is going to bounce back. You think so? I think he is. I think I they're going to well, uh, I think it's hard because Discounting the Raiders because they're fucking awful. <laughs> but we got the fucking uh, the Chiefs, which we haven't beat the Chiefs since they've got Patrick Mahomes, which is f- just fucking blows my mind. And then the Chargers, which we usually do one and one with them, but they are uh, they're pretty fucking good. Chargers are good, dude. Yeah. Chargers. So I feel like our division is probably one of the worst the divisions. Yeah. Do you guys have any... Any, uh, I guess, what do you want to call it? Like an alternate team? 
like I would say my my alternate team would would be the Cardinals. The Cardinals? Because I spent, well, I spent makes, a lot of time That makes Arizona. sense. That I went to a sense. bunch of Cardinals games. I definitely can see that then. Yeah. Yeah. I, at first I was like, what? Yeah. And then I realized, yeah, you lived in Arizona. Plus I like because they're always the underdogs, you know. <clears throat> and they we shared Jake Plummer. What we, about you, Jeremy? We shared him. What's like your, your like other team that you're like, yeah, okay. Uh, I don't know that I really have one. I think maybe if anything, it'd be the, the Steelers just cause like probably six years ago, um, my, my uncle and my cousin and I all went out to a game out there to watch the Viking Steelers. And that fucking place was just sweet. Like yeah. Pittsburgh was Heinz awesome. Heinz Field. Heinz Field was oh, great. Very, like, very old like school was, and shit. Yeah, yeah. I mean, I got I was wearing my Vikings jersey. Terrible towel. And I got fucking heckled like yeah. just terribly. Yeah. And I was getting all fucking mad and drunk. But then I I also had the shits at the time too. Like I couldn't <laughs> I couldn't drink during the game because like I was just popping a modium. And water, dude. And, like, and you don't plug up, but yeah. you was, don't shit at a fucking no pro no, football so, game. So like, I was getting fucking screamed at and cussed at for wearing a Vikings jersey, and yeah. then also I had the shits. And then that's the year that Sam Bradford went down, and I'm like, ah, oh, shit, this mm-hmm. is, this is horrible. Mm-hmm. But I had a great time in Pittsburgh. Bradford, that was an awful, awful fucking pick for them. Pick up. Was that before Bridgewater? Was that before no. Teddy or after? I think it was that after. Was, that was that after. That was after Teddy. Once Teddy went down with his knee injury, yeah, they about lost his leg. Yeah. yeah. Um. Then they then they traded for Bradford from the Eagles. Yeah, from the Eagles. Because didn't and he played. Bradford played for a season. Did like he looked all he looked all right. And just then, injured all the time. Yeah, and then he got injured, and then he got injured the week before. Well. He was kind of injured the week before. They didn't know if he was going to play. Yeah. That week they were playing Pittsburgh, and then Case Keenum came in that mm-hmm. week, mm-hmm. and then that was that was. <laughs> yeah. I mean, he fucking Case Keenum. Yeah. Uh, he yeah. has my respect because he played good he, for you guys. He played amazing for us, and that was the Minneapolis miracle yeah. year. Yeah. And Which I was excited for that when the Broncos got him because I was like, oh man, like underdog, blah, whatever. Right. Yeah. He was. Fucking garbage for the yeah. Broncos. Dude, so was fucking fucking Teddy Bridgewater. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> fucking Vikings quarterbacks. All all quarterbacks that I wish we would have kept at the time. And it's funny too because <clears throat> I, I thought Teddy Bridgewater was really fucking good for the Vikings until that fucking that injury. Yeah. I was like, dude, this dude's fucking legit. But then all that shit. And then with the Broncos, he was garbage and he was good with the team after. I don't remember who it was that he went to, but he did. Ooh. Teddy Britt, is it Dolphins? No, he went to the Saints. The he Saints. was back up for the Saints. Yeah, he did pretty good with the Saints. Yeah. He Dude, was I, on the Dolphins for a little while. Yeah. And then I think also, was he with the Panthers? Carolina? Maybe. Maybe. He's, he, been, he's been around for a little while. Yeah. Dude, the, uh, so the, the fucking the quarterback that I was like the most excited about that was just turned out to be a dud was fucking Nick Foles. When yeah. Chicago got Nick Foles, I was like, big dick, Nick. Big dick, yeah. Nick. And I was so fucking excited. Yeah. Because, dude, when he when he showed up and won the fucking Super Bowl for the Eagles, oh. I was like. Yeah. Dude. And then. That was great, too, because it was against Patriots. So it was like. Oh, man. Even yeah, better. Yeah, fuck you, Tom. <laughs> fuck you, Tom Brady. Even though dude, I like Tom Brady. It was. Uh, <laughs> I do. Oh, speaking of that, I watched that Netflix series about the quarterback or that that show on Netflix about the quarterbacks. And I I will say, I used to talk so much shit about Kirk Cousins. Mm-hmm. And I was like, you know, fucking just a weird nerd, fucking can't, can't play football. And then I saw that documentary on Netflix, and I was like, I'm – I'm genuinely hurt that I've said these things about him. <laughs> yeah. He's the nicest human being. On the and that's funny because he, I haven't watched it, but Tempe said the same shit. And he's a Packers fan too. So, I mean, I will say that like, he is still all those things. He is a weird nerd, like, yeah. but just the nicest guy in the world. Dude, right? he dedicates time on his days off or like his days where he like, cause he, he, he picks a day during the week where he doesn't actually go into the facility and he takes that day to spend time with his wife. He is like an R and R like away from football. And then like he does like his brain training with like the electrodes and shit. 
And then he sits down and he literally reads fan mail and writes out like handwritten letters in response to his fan mail. That's cool. And I'm like, how many quarterbacks do that? Probably Probably just him. Yeah. You know what I mean? Like the dude is so, and then he was sitting by the campfire in an ember, burnt his shirt and he goes, oh, shoot. (laughs) Looks like it's my new favorite. What was that? Fire shirt. That was that was camera three. It's down. Oh no! Oh no! So, uh, okay. What did, you asked me and Jeremy a question? Oh, alternate team. Okay. No. Yeah. What was your alternate team? Cardinals. Okay. Okay. Cardinals. Yours is Pittsburgh. And be honest with you, I have a couple. <laughs> well, I'll make it real quick. Pittsburgh's one. I will root for Green Bay when they're not playing the Bears because my wife Mm -hmm. is a Green Bay Packer fan. (laughs) I don't don't really consider them an alternate. It's just a team that I'll like, oh, yeah, go because you're my wife's team. Uh, But the two that I consider alternates are the Steelers and the Eagles. Mm, Ew. Really? Why? Gross. Fuck the Eagles. I lived 20 minutes from Philadelphia. And it yeah. was just kind of like while I lived there, it, the culture of like the Eagles was just kind of like a thing. It was there, you know what I mean? Yeah. And and it's weird because like all of New Jersey are Eagles fans, even though uh, the Jets and the Giants are yeah. in New Jersey. I wouldn't say that necessarily because I've known dudes from New Jersey that were Giants fans. The only ones that are Giants and Jets fans are like the very far north Jersey where they're like right by New York. Like they can get in the tunnel and go to New York in 10 minutes. You get a little bit south of like the fucking top 10 minutes of Jersey and everyone to the south is all like, for the most part, Phillies fans. So, yeah. Anyway, I think that's all we have. That is all the time we have for today. So guys, girls... Everything in between. Everything in between. <laughs> uh, I hope you guys do great on your fantasy. I hope your favorite team does as good as you hope they do this year. Yeah. We're going to keep checking in and let you know how our teams are doing. Let us know who your favorite teams are. And if you have an alternate, Hit let us, us know that too. Hit them in the comments. Curious. Also, what you should do, go check out Rusty Lids. You like, uh, you like hats that you probably shouldn't wear in public? Definitely check out Rusty Lids. This one right here, not from Rusty Lids, but this one here, have them. not from Rusty Lids, but they have hats just like it, just like it, Jeremy? just like it, Jeremy. This one here, not from Rusty Lids. Oh, oh. but they have. I did like see a patch like this on their on their website. They do have. Um, mm-hmm. I've got like six of their hats in my cart, so yep. I'm pulling the trigger like hey. tomorrow. Nice. What? what promo code did you use? I haven't used a promo code yet. Well, I haven't pulled the trigger, but I'm going to use promo code love you, L O V E U. The letter U? Letter U. And you're going to get yourself a K Love You Buy discount. A K Love You Buy discount. Indubitably. 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 <laughs> All right, everybody. Thank you for hanging out with us. Stay tuned for the next episode. We love you. Love the shit out of you. Fuck, Fuck you. you. Fuck you. you. Kay love you, bye. bye. I'm chasing her butt cheeks Up and down the corn All these girls have cowboy boots And wear their wrangler Fuck me in the butthole <laughs> uh, Take two. I'm chasing their butt cheeks Up and down the corn All these girls have cowboy boots And carry around their pitchforks Chasing their butt cheeks Up and down the corn All these girls have real nice butts And wear those Wrangler jean shorts <laughs> <laughs> I did. Uh, pull chocks. Pull chocks.